Hey guys, Cyber Aquarius here. Well, I just wanted to share something with you all. Um, past couple days, I noticed my torch coral up here in the upper left-hand corner wasn't doing that well. The top three heads were, you know, not polyped out. And I came home from work tonight, and they were really retracted and slime. You know, just put, producing a lot of slime. And I noticed my red cat Montipera here, there's little white spots on it. I couldn't figure out what was going on, and so I tested all my water parameters, tested everything, salinity, calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, iodide, everything, and everything was spot on. So I got to thinking, you know, what could be going on? And I remembered a few nights ago, my female Ocellaris clownfish here was swimming and the top heads, you know, trying to host the, the coral, you know, as if it was an anemone. I don't have an anemone in this tank. I used to have one, a rose bubble tip, but I took it out to make room for more corals. And also the anemone kept moving around. But just be forewarned, you know, if you have a clownfish and you don't have an anemone, they will tend to try to swim around in your corals. They constantly swim around in this candy cane coral here but this female you know she did the damage to the torch I'm just gonna leave it in for now and hopefully it will recuperate I mean it's down to the skeleton in, uh, in some spots and this thing was looking uh, amazing too uh, last week I just couldn't believe how how much it had grown how great it was looking and the red cap, I mean, it'll, it'll bounce back. It'll grow back over the, the damaged places. There's even a piece of the tentacle right there on that uh, fire and ice zoanthid. Stuck on the zoanthid there. Anyway, guys, just wanted to let you all know about that. Don't know if you all knew that clownfish will try to host uh, corals if you don't have an enemy. But just be careful because they can do damage to the uh, polyps, you know, whenever they brush up against the polyps and smush them up against the skeleton. I'll keep you guys posted on things and that 25 gallon aquarium will be coming soon. I just have not had time to build the stand. Uh, I was sick for a couple weeks and weather just hasn't permitted for me to haul the lumber to the house. But hopefully um, if things go well, I plan on building the stand this Saturday. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Everybody take care.